and sprints off the field for his for the guy to come in and sub. Not not the cool light jog that guys like to do after a good play. Just does everything hard and at 100. percent I love it. The empty backfield on third and 12. Rush coming again. Guller throws off his back foot. It's intercepted. Dominic Frash, the senior, with his third interception of the season with 46 seconds left in the opening quarter. Defense stand up today. It's a big game. you got to make plays. Right here, what causes this is that he runs out of the pocket, and he never sees the under, the undercover. The, uh, the other, the other. And for a second time, the Mustang offense able to move into the red zone, but they'll have to send out Alex Vega, the senior, to attempt a field goal. Well, a little more motion right there on this hash. I would just love to see a fade pattern on second down there. Here's a 24-yard attempt from the senior Vega, and he knocks it through. He's two for two in the opening half of the Cal Poly Mustangs have taken a six nothing lead. Who throws your horse and Jenkins is the ride is the jockey, but you, sometimes you got to get the trainer in there too. Look at this. Pro throw. Look at this. Close through the middle. Pro throw down the right side, inside the twenty. Down he goes at the fifteen yard line. He might get the record tonight. <laughs> he might get the record tonight. Is that over one fifty for the first half so far? Is he close to it? Close to it. He's close to it. They're gonna update that. Yeah, he's close to it. I can see Hernandez being a big piece of this offense next year. He's just a sophomore. I can see him being a big piece of this offense uh, next year. Hernandez comes in motion. Jenkins drops to throw. Lobs one down the left side. J.J. Koski makes the catch. Touchdown, Cal Poly. There it is. There it is. Beautiful play. Beautiful route. Wide open. Completely full. When you run as much as they do, when you have one-on-one -on -one coverage like that, you've got to take advantage of it and use it. And the two times I've been here and I've called these games, I've never seen J.J. Koski double covered at all. So when you got single coverage and you got a receiver, he's got, was that his 28th catch this year? I think the closest person to him is at, what, five? So he's actually, he's four. Tonight, so he, they played better than we've seen, but they're 16 in the nation and FCS against the pass. So their defensive backs and their passing defense, they can play good, but they need to work on tip drill, man. You got to get those, got to get those tipped interceptions. James Madison loses the football. The Mustangs pick it up. Anders Turner, scoop and score. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Defense, defense, defense. I, listen, the defense is making me look good. There were one of my keys, three keys. There's a flag on the field. This might be coming back. That's a celebration. That's a celebration for the sideline fine. So touchdown's going to stand. There you go. Good call. Good call, partner. My partner's excited in here. I love it. But that's... 38 carries for pro throw. Malcolm Davis in motion. Double reverse. J.J. Koski, the wide receiver to the edge. Koski to the 10. Touchdown, Cal Poly. There it is. Beautiful play call. Outstanding play call. And that might be the knockout punch with 431 left. The Mustangs have taken a three-score lead over number 24, Idaho State. As the wide receiver, J.J. Koski, runs in his second score of 2018. You can use the word Mike because play-by-play -play guys have to kind of wait until it says zero, zero, zero. Us color guys get to, you know, we get to predict and kind of throw it out I'll there. I figure the Mustangs going? are going to be heavy favorites against one win Southern Utah. Yes, next. absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, a five and six record with five of those six losses coming to ranked opponents a year after finishing one and ten. Be huge for this program. Guller. Sacked. And that'll be the ball game. Back at the 15-yard line. That's the final nail in the coffin. The Mustangs will take over on downs with 340 left. Cal Poly's going to have an opportunity to win this football game by four scores. Yeah. Which is, yeah. I don't think, something anybody expected, obviously.